Hello everybody! Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be turning a really nasty pasty apartment into something awesome and lovely and beautiful. As always we have our secretary here, Bowser the Cha Cha. He's just having a snooze. All right, so the apartment we're gonna be renovating today is in San Myshuno. It's a bit of a classic. It's kind of the starter apartment I feel like everyone goes to, and it's so nasty. I mean, look at this stained pink carpet, these pipes that we actually can't move uh, without using cheats. I need I don't even know if you can move them with cheats. I'm sure there's a mod you can use. The walls are all stained and it's kind of crazy because it's quite a new looking building yet it is so gross in here. I don't know what happened. The kitchen is nasty as well. Look at these cupboards. I mean, it's actually kind of like my kitchen at home that's from the 70s. So it's gonna be nice to freshen these up and I can imagine what it feels like. <laughs> It does have a really nice little computer nook and like a nice shelf here when you walk in. I mean, the floor plan's not too bad. The bathrooms, you know, it's very livable. That toilet paper is up so high, you'd be like, ugh. I love strange uh, toilet paper placements. And if we go around here, love the bubble blower. Lots of bubble blowing in this uh, apartment. And then this is the bedroom. Now it has one lonely window, which you know, isn't unusual in an apartment building. Some posters on the wall and this is the bed situation. I think we've all used like, or reused a box or some other object as a bedside table to put a lamp on. So it's a great little starter apartment. Our Sim here, who we're going to make the apartment look amazing for, this is Salem. Salem wants to be a writer or a best-selling author. And Salem is also a writer for a job. They are creative, a bookworm, lazy, and a muser. And he likes video gaming. So I'm thinking we need a computer for Salem to write on, a nice comfy couch. Uh, and a nice kind of artsy creative space. So I am gonna say Salem's saved up a bit more money to finally renovate his apartment. Uh, let's maybe add another five, 6,000 simoleons. So let's get rid of all of this. I think the bubble blower can go. I do like this gaming console. We can't delete these objects. Those will have to stay. And we can't move around the windows. So it's always a nice little challenge when you're renovating an apartment because you can't move things like the windows. You can't like extend the rooms. You just have to work with, with what you've been given. I'm really excited to put in some good down lights as well. All right, let's get plenty of light in here. Can we change to the afternoon? There we go. There we go. Lovely. And we're gonna pull all of this carpet up and this tile, and maybe we could expose the flooring underneath. Hello there, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to announce two things quickly. Number one, I'm returning to live streaming in the new year here on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that just here on the main channel. And number two, to support the live streaming, I'm also launching channel memberships. This means that you will get a loyalty badge next to your name and also get access to custom emojis. So similar to being a Twitch subscriber in that sense. But there's also more. As a member, you get access to bonus videos from behind the scenes, Q and A, sim challenges, photos, updates, and feedback from behind the scenes. And as a member, I'll be able to see your comments first on videos. If that sounds good to you, you can join next to the subscribe button on my channel or below this video. If you're an iPhone user, you may need to go to a desktop to see the join button. This is extra delicacy content. It's different to what I post on on the main channel, so don't worry, my usual content is not going anywhere. Anyway guys, thanks for your support. I'm really excited to be bringing more content to you and of course more of the usual videos I do as well. Thanks for your support. Enjoy the video. And let's clean up these walls. Okay, so it looks like those have been freshly painted as well. So I want this apartment to maybe be a little bit boho, artsy, because I think that suits Salem as a sim. And I am kind of tempted to maybe make this more open plan into more of a studio apartment or alternatively have this have like a sliding door so it can be opened up. Otherwise it feels like quite a little space. We could even use the new Desert Lux doors maybe here. Although we do have quite a tall wall height. Oh my gosh, we have max height in this apartment. That's kind of crazy. 
There is this awesome archway from Batu, Journey from Batu, but I actually think you can access it from Bite Bug Mode, but it's just a little bit longer. Uh, so that might not be ideal. Yeah, so if you put in a cheat show hidden objects on, you can access this debug item from Journey to Batu if you have that pack. And it's pretty awesome because it's just like a massive open wall, but of course it doesn't really work in this apartment. I just, we really need more like bigger archways, I feel. We could put a sliding door in here. Is that kind of weird though? I just like the idea of being able to kind of close or open this part of the apartment. Like these bifold doors are nice. Alternatively, we could do more of a column situation with a spandrel. So we could do something like this, have that open like that, and then put in a couple of columns. I don't know, like place in some like this. I might change that to a darker tone. Where are we? And then, yeah, then we could hang some curtains off of here. Maybe the beaded ones from high school. These, oh, they're not very long. So we probably need to use something like uh, the desert ones. Like we could use these. Oh, that's nice. I like that. The blue color is really pretty too. Or the other option is we could use the ones from My Wedding Stories. Although they only come in two wall heights, do they? They don't actually have a full height version. I thought they did. Hmm. Bit of a bummer. Let's see what it looks like just with an archway and a curtain instead. I do quite like this look. Like I think that looks pretty cool. And we can always change this to like a, ooh, the orange is kind of fun. I don't know, I kind of wish this frame wasn't there. I think the red's probably the best. I do wish we had more light in here. Okay, so let's pop the bed in and see how much room we can limit the bedroom to. Cause maybe the bedroom's a little bit bigger than needed. I do really like this bed. This is a really cool bed. And I, this space is just so much bigger than it needs to be. Like we could probably punch this wall in a little bit and make a lot more use of this space in here. Cause we have to put a kitchen, dining and lounge room in this area. We also need to get a door onto this bathroom. Let's maybe go with that one. Uh, actually, should we put it there? Yeah, we'll leave it here. And the bathroom we could have a bit of fun with in terms of tiles. I kind of want to make it look like it's an original New York City apartment. Actually, no, because that won't really suit the outside of the building being a little bit newer. So maybe we can do a newer exposed brick or exposed wall here that doesn't look as classic uh, as like a brownstone building, for example. Maybe something more like this would work. You know me though, like I love a red brick. It's hard for me to say no to a red brick. You guys are like, please, no more red bricks. Oh, what about this? That's cool. I mean, that concrete looks like it would suit the exterior of this building. The thing that I dislike because these interior doors don't look like they would go with this building. Like they look like they're from an apartment that's a lot older. That does confuse me a little bit. Okay, so in here for the tiles, let's go for a darker bathroom. We can go with gray in there. Yeah, that'll do. We've got the painted gray walls. I mean, we could go full blown like gray. No, that's too industrial. That We're going too far now. We're getting too carried away. I have really been enjoying this kind of warm cream color recently. I just, it's just a nice break from the usual. Uh, the only problem with that is we're combining cold gray with a warm cream. And do we want to do that? I think in this space it will work. And now I'm thinking the flooring doesn't look new enough for this building either. Where's our handy dandy stage flooring? Is that more where it's at? Maybe just that. Okie dokie. This could probably also be a gray wall. <gasps> Or we could go with these bricks. Now these look newer to me, even though they are a nod to Art Deco. If we just kept it to a limited amount of this area, it could be okay. I think I'm down for this more. All right, so we've got our gaming thing there. Let's get him. Um, let's match the flooring in here. Let's get a side table for this bed. I didn't mind the these that were in the lounge room. They were kind of cool. Uh, they are quite like not very vintage looking. They look like metal. Although I guess some metal, metal suitcases are vintage. I'm just not vibing with it, you know? What about a bit of a Moroccan piece? That's quite cool. I'd love to try and utilize these pieces. I love it in the red, like behind the bed maybe. That's kind of cool. Put the bed in front of it. 
that's better. We need a cool lamp. I want to have a really nice bookshelf as well because obviously we need to have a bookshelf seeming as though Salem is a writer. Bookshelves, plants are another big thing that we want to use in this as well because plants always give a very nice boho feeling to a space. It'd be nice to sleep under a plant, wouldn't it? Oh, and we should use the clutter kit to put some glasses next to the bed. Yeah, some cool like potentially hipster glasses. Love it. A mug as well. That looks very lived in, very realistic. And I feel like there would be maybe some books next to the bed or magazines, gaming magazines. Salem does like gaming there. Oh, I also like the idea of having shoes at the end of the bed. Right. Oh, there's a little mouse hole there. We won't be able to move that. Just one of the fun things the apartment comes with. Okay, in terms of a wardrobe, I do like these ones that you usually have to construct in eco lifestyle, or we could actually build in one, which may cover up the mouse hole. I mean, it would be nice to have a built-in one. It would definitely look like there's more storage. All right, let's try and do a built-in wardrobe. Just like that. Because I think it does work with this window being there. Then we could put like a little secondary wardrobe thing over here with maybe some clutter items on top of it. Oh, I should have, I was going to say, I should have kept that computer because it's a, a special computer. I can't believe Salem was holding on to an extra computer back here. We can put some more clutter items here. I've been using this clutter kit so much, you guys. I'm just, I'm so glad we, we finally got a clutter kit. Like it definitely was on my list of things I was requesting and hoping The Sims 4 would have one day. So I'm stoked. Maybe put a watch up here on the dresser. Uh, headphones, probably better off on the desk. Maybe a hat. Oh, I like this little, this little guy. Let's maybe put you there, put you there and push that back and maybe, oh, we can put you in the corner. Yeah, like that. That's cool. And then we'll just have a blind coming down here. The blind would make more sense. And I'm gonna use the very unpopular My First Pet Stuff blind because these blinds are actually really handy. We could probably paint these walls actually to be different from the other room. I love this earthy color. Is that like too orange? It's probably too orange. Maybe more of a brown version of Dill? Not ideal. What about maybe with this in blue? I think we need a rug. Maybe a rug will help make more sense within this space. Yellow one in there. If I actually layer two rugs, we just hold Alt to rotate rotate it slightly you can overlap them a bit yeah I like that and then we're just gonna add a few more bits and bobs to the room maybe some pictures on the wall previously Salem had some posters up there does this have any like cool version oh that's fun not really right for the space though does Salem like skiing in their spare time oh maybe some of these types of things or is it too musical I like these kind of photos up there oh I love the Strangerville um posters they're really cool posters whoever did this artwork okay now that doesn't match the curtain anymore we could do a yellow curtain instead of a yellow rug that might work a little bit better oh and then we need some kind of mirror like a full length mirror this one's really nice I don't know if we're trying to squish it in a bit much although this whole apartment is a little bit squishy isn't it? That's pretty cool. I think we can fit it in just here. I like the idea of this poster kind of going through this a bit too. And you know what else we need? We need some fairy lights. Fairy lights would look really cute. Oh, I like these. Let's put those in this room for a little while. We might use that later. And then fairy lights, fairy lights, fairy lights. I can never find the fairy lights because we have the holiday lights that aren't as much of a vibe these ones like they're okay but they're 2d so i don't like them as much i mean they were just like a free addition to the game i guess oh actually yeah see how when you go from the side they're just like actually painted on the wall also i really like this new candle so let's put that in here to use later oh i like this candle too we're gonna have lots of candles in here but where are the other fairy lights oh these are the string lights for ants from the toddler kit which could go on the little mirror like these are good for putting on furniture like this kind of a oh we need to go further down actually maybe if we just put them just like that oh that's pretty cute i don't mind that can maybe we put these on the window as well is this gonna kind of fit over this oh my gosh it's like the perfect size wait is that outside or inside that's inside that actually does work so we can maybe put a couple of rows of these fun 
Lots of fun. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I think these curtains tie in nicely to this brick wall. So that's the bedroom all done. I think that's very cozy and cool. And then we wanna have some kind of TV space over here. One thing I was thinking we could use is the tiny living uh, TV setup like this. Or we could go for a more modern look. And actually, it doesn't have to be a more modern look necessarily, but like a, more, it's actually a more like casual look where we just kind of put a TV on top of this. This is from base game. It's quite a good little unit. Um, or there's this one that's a little bit more, oh, it's not gonna fit on there. I mean, we could just grow a smaller TV. Salem might not, you know, want a big TV. Oh, Salem might like a little vintage TV actually. Oh, Salem might like watching on something like this, although it's very um kitty looking, so maybe not. There's just so many options. I do kind of like the idea of this. I think I want to use it. I think we, I think we're going to use it, you guys. And then I wonder if we should change where the kitchen was. Originally, the kitchen was along here. Could the kitchen, I'm just trying to think, like what would make the most sense in this apartment. You could almost have it, hold on, let's get some counters and just have a little play around with it. You could have it just run completely straight along here. I've seen this done in a few apartments where it's just a straight long kitchen. You don't have an island bench and then you just have a dining table here. And the other thing with that orientation is it could kind of curve like this, but then you would have to have a fridge like right there as you walk in the door, which isn't so nice. So you could have a fridge there. Hmm. I mean, we could go galley kitchen, a classic deli move, but it's just gonna make the space smaller and we wanna open it up. And you could do something like this, where it's a kitchen island with, with a bench you sit on. Just like do a straight kitchen. This apartment build is also making me want to go and get uh, custom content again. I don't know what it is about apartments. I just want CC. <laughs> I love this little fridge. Let's do, do like a green, black one. The red one's kind of cool. I think the teal is my favorite though. So, teal's such a great color. It's the best of both worlds, both blue and green. All right, kitchen, kimchi, kimchi. I want to do open shelves, closed shelves, rustic. Oh my gosh, I thought we had $12 right now, but it's just because the little icon is covering up the rest. I was like, how did we go through that much money so quickly? I mean, these counters are so cool and they're base game. So if anyone downloads this, they're gonna have this kitchen working, which I do love. What about a goldy sink? I need a fire alarm, safety first folks. Bin, bin at the end here. I don't wanna go like too cottagey with the stove, I'd rather go something modern. Oh no, the only problem I just remembered with this counter is it has that back lip, which I absolutely despise. <laughs> I kind of just want to put in some regular counters now. I mean, look, we saw the potential with the other counters. It was fun while it lasted. And if you just have base game, you can do that. I'm having a, a different idea with the bricks. Do you think these bricks look newer as well? Like those bricks could be below this building or not really? I don't know if the newer apartment buildings even use bricks. Do they just use concrete? Okay, the more I'm looking at this build, the more I'm like feeling like we've picked things that look too old. Like those brick walls still don't really suit the exterior of this building. And that does bother me. This build's harder than I thought it would be. And I'm again leaning back to using the desert luxe wallpaper or like like a concretey look like this because like if it was one of these old brown stones it would make more sense to have the old bricks but realistically now they use newer stuff or newer looking stuff i would think so let's change this up a bit we're changing it around folks i'm sorry it's such a big change compared to how we started but it just to me this makes a lot more sense and we're gonna have to work really hard to soften all of this grayness um, with some really like nice earthy linens and like rugs and all of that good stuff and maybe like a pop of color on the wall. Okay, let's keep the kitchen relatively new. Maybe we can do some fun shelves up here. So we'd go to services, services, surfaces. And what can we use here? I mean, this is kind of cool. I guess it's not really kitchen 
been like, er, ooh, I like this shelf. It's like a linen bathroom shelf. I don't know if we'll be able to use that in there, but we'll put it there for now. Do something like this on the side when you walk in. Definitely need like a really nice bookshelf. Ooh, I like this too. That's more rustic, too rustic though. We're just gonna pull everything out and see what we can, what we can use. Cause we're just gonna have fun. I like this. This would be cool if it didn't have the coat hangers on it. Like I feel like the coat hangers really ruin that. We'll put it in the bathroom for later. We do snowy escape shelving. It is a bit rustic. Can we just place this whole shelf thing right here on the end? Like that, is that? Yeah, there's enough room there to walk in. We can pop two of these like that. And then if we can fit some kitchen stuff on it, it might look okay. I mean, this shelf works pretty well considering usually shelves in The Sims are tricky to use and put objects on. Or maybe it's more the objects that make a difference. Plates up here. These are nice. Well, where are those pots from? I always forget which pack pots and things from. Well, we do have a teapot from Cottage Living, this thing. Oh yeah, all of these things from the country kitchen. That's what I was looking for. Because these are very, uh, very rusty. Okay, I can't find that pot I was looking for, but I did find this nice thing to put the door for keys and such. As much as I love the idea of this shelf, I think it's just slightly too cottagey with the basket in it. So I'm gonna take that out. And we are missing some appliances. So let's pop a dishwasher in. Dishwasher would probably sit at the end of this. And of course we need a coffee maker. There we go. And maybe a picture or a nice light fixture over here. We've kind of gone from more boho vibes to a bit more industrial. And I really do want to bring back some of that softness so it's not overly industrial. We could do something like this. Hmm. Is it too random? There's this, which is definitely very cool. I keep changing the floors. I swear I've changed these floors like 10 times now. I'm just so confused by the building. Okay. So we are going to have a little dining area. I'm thinking the bench seat, because there's something about that bar likeness when the Sims sit up higher that just seems really cool and a little bit more city-like for some reason. I love this because this definitely is very rustic when you pick the right colorway. We could even place that up against the wall and put stools around it. Like these are quite nice stools. Where's the bin here? Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. And then we can also have a rug there. Rugs absolutely soften a room. Anything that is made from natural fibers, like say this rug will soften a harsh space and a harsh space would be an industrial space so that's gonna soften it a bit i just want to add more things like that around the place as much as this is kind of a cool industrial feature i'm kind of thinking we don't really need it and we could size it down at the front door as just something cool that you see when you walk in but it's a bit unnecessary we could do a nice uh hanging pendant light coming over the dining table and i actually finally feel like this is starting to come together and look a little bit uh a little bit better <laughs> oh that's really nice and then we should put something here as well about some funky skateboard artwork that one that's pretty that's actually so cool i don't think i've seen that one before the stripes are nice hmm so many options which ones i think either this or the stripes maybe the stripes like that these baskets from jungle adventure you can buy them from uh selva dorada or you can get them from debug mode and what you can actually do is put a fruit bowl in them with the move objects on sheet. So I think the way I've done this before is, oh yeah, you just size this round fruit bowl down and look at that. It's like a nice little perfectly sized fruit basket. I also like the idea of maybe moving that further in so it's more in our field of view. Now you can put this next to it. There's like a little picnic choice of items there. So nice. So yeah, I also feel like we could benefit from maybe a bigger plant over here. Uh, I'm not sure what, but I just feel like we need something else. Maybe just a nifty knitting plant or two. Yeah, I can put a couple of nifty knitting plants right here at different levels. Then maybe move this light back across there. Okay, that is starting to look... Yeah, I'm starting to like this apartment. I feel like we're getting enough of the boho vibe with the industrial now because I was a little bit worried we wouldn't get there we've still got the original gaming device right here I want to get some more rugs that look nice and earthy as well into this space these ones are quite good because they're very um organic looking in their shape I, I love this red rug I, I think I want to use this in the lounge I don't know if we can just oops 
What happened to the shelf? It disappeared. I wonder if we can put the shelf next to the TV area. Also, wait, this doesn't work as a bookshelf, does it? This is a decorative shelf. I always get stuck on that. We need a book. Ooh, this is so much fun. Not sure if it really fits into our apartment though. Yeah, maybe I'm trying to push that a bit. I'm always pushing to use those shelves and items from that pack. I mean, this is a classic shelf. You can't really go wrong with this one. Well, this one's quite robust too. Like this looks like it has a lot of books. They look more like library books, don't they? Another thing we could do to make the space look a bit more casual is kind of put this in the corner so it's not as rigid and straight. And we need to find a really cool couch. Ooh, we've got 4,000 simoleons left. I thought we'd have so much money left over, but I guess I haven't really been paying that much attention to our budget. Whoops. Sometimes you just wanna have fun and be super creative. I do like this couch and it's cheap. So we don't really have to stress about money with this one. These are also nice from Eco. This one's really cool, but I don't know if we have the best colorways. Mm, like it looks very teen, which makes sense because it came with high school. Maybe we could use this one. I like lots of rattan in this apartment because it, it looks very like natural. Oh, there's this jungle adventure couch. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. What about this bookshelf? The problem is sometimes the Sims do have to get in here to fix these two items that we can't move. So, I mean, I could leave lots of space around them or, you know, during gameplay, it could just move the furniture out of the way, which I would personally rather do. So then we can make the space still look really nice. And it still looks like it's a bookshelf. It's got really cool items and it can also work as a bookshelf as long as we place this on it. Or we can just, it's where the TV is. These candles are so much fun. Ooh, love this chair. I so wish this beanbag had a blue gingham swatch in it. Like it's got this greeny gray one and a red one and a pink one and a black one, but not a blue one. I mean, this works fine, that there. Got some cool chairs. How big are we willing to go for a coffee table? This is, no, this is too big for this space. It's too much. Oh, I wish we could use this. That's quite nice. I mean, sometimes it's nice to just go with something really simple. And this space is, is definitely feeling like we need a guitar here, right? Nice flower there. And we need a lamp. Oh my gosh, I haven't used this base game lamp for years. What a throwback. God, that takes me back to 2014. I also like the idea of potentially having a trestle table here. I'm not sure if we'll go ahead with it. I'm just gonna put it there tentatively for now. I also like thinking I wanna mismatch those. Well, because I do love the idea of having lots of books in this apartment, seeing as though Salem is a writer. That makes sense to me. Okay, and finally over here, this is where we'll put the desk again. That's where it originally was. I think it's a good spot for it. But maybe we can get a desk with a little bit more room. We already have, oh no, what happened to the computer? Oh good, it's still there. Okay, so we have this fancy computer. I'm gonna take it as the game asking me to use these fairy lights because it kept it when I deleted them. Those up here. Oh, lower them a bit, just there as if it's hanging off the shelf. And then we can hang some more below the TV cabinet. So you just hold down control and zero if you, oh no, it can't lower it anymore. Okay, maybe we can lift it up in the kitchen. Hmm. Put it under one of the shelves. So control, press zero to lower it. Can we do it again? Hold alt to place it. There we go. It's a nice little touch, I think. Do the same thing over here. Yay, pretty. We can make it look like like these paintings are just leaning against this desk. Actually, let's hang them. Let's hang up the painting, shall we? And go with some reds. I need to place one just underneath to balance it out a bit. We could size down this one. Oh yeah, that works. Make it look a little more even. Cool, nailed it. I don't know how comfortable this chair would be, but I think the chair is cool because it's a bit retro. So I'm gonna leave it. And I can put a little friend up here. There. All right, I think. Oh, and then we've just got the bathroom to do. I thought we had finished for a second, but no, we've got a little bit extra to go. So as much as I love this shelf, oh, could we fit it in the lounge room? Because the thing with apartments is you end up adding so much furniture because there's usually not a lot of storage built in to apartment spaces. At least the apartments I've lived in, there's not that much storage. So you have to kind of buy storage. I'm just gonna reduce the size of all of these paintings. It's like that. Oh, we definitely need a welcome mat too. <gasps> we have such little money. I think it's okay if we add a little money. I mean, this is more of a fun build than a budget build. Just 
put in a few items into the bathroom. The toilet paper will be in a normal spot. Okay, shelf, toilet, and then shower. We could do like a bath shower. So we could just do like a shower. It's a very small room, so that could be good. Let's just do a spa day shower in here. Actually, let's pop in a couple of these. There we go, this up a little bit. Okie dokie guys, are you ready to see the finished apartment? So we have turned this very ugly apartment into hopefully something that's really nice and inspiring for a writer. So you walk in, this has always been very narrow, but I think it's worked quite well having just a really long kitchen. This is what the front door looks like. I really don't like the fact that you can just see through the apartment door. I think that is so strange. So I'm really curious to hear if any of you guys live in apartments with glass doors going to each unit. So in here is our little bathroom, very nice. Quite dark in here, but nice and cozy, bit of storage. We've got our bin, let's walk in. So this is our kitchen area and also dining. This turned out pretty cool. I think the fairy lights on the shelves made a really big difference. And I have to say, I really love this little dining area with the skateboards there and the, the lights are very homely. And then looking back down here, this is our lounge room. So there's that gorgeous big window and it actually feels quite spacious now, whereas previously it felt really tiny. There's also this working nook right here. So there's a separate area, I guess, for you to work at your desk that isn't like cramped into the bedroom. So that's really nice too. A little bit of extra storage for linens and this brilliant, cozy, earthy, but a little bit industrial lounge area as well, where you can play games. You could even sit here and write actually, if The Sims could sit at that table. I mean, in real life you could. And look at this, Salem looks so happy here. Like what a bachelor. I love these little rounded tables as well. It's quite cluttered. I usually don't like clutter, but I like this. And then of course we go through here into the bedroom. We kind of gave the idea that this was a bit more open with a big archway and the soft drapery. And then this is where we started. We just had like a nice little bedroom. I like the uh, texture of the curtains behind the bed and the Moroccan side table adds a bit of color and pattern. What is happening? I like the books under the bed, it's cool. And then the window doesn't look so sad. Like previously the window looked just like so tiny, but I think with the built-in wardrobe, but looks a little bit more structured now and not as lonely. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. Is this somewhere where you would like to live? Do you think it's a believable space in The Sims? And I will upload this to the gallery. I'll just have to take out the walls to upload the whole apartment and just fill in the walls. Uh, if you choose to download it. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Tag tag.